We're recording. Hey everybody, Paul from Recording Magazine, uh, here with another video on our YouTube channel. And this month, it is uh, July 2017, and that is our issue dedicated to all things electric guitar. So I am here in Madison, Wisconsin, at Virtu Studios, uh, with Mike Scheibinger, and he is the chief engineer, the owner, the coffee maker, and uh, we are going to look at the humble dynamic microphone and its use on guitar cabinets. What we're going to do is we're going to kind of compare and contrast five current production dynamic microphones, starting with the Shure SM57. It's been around for over half a century, and not only are these great on uh guitar cabinet, but they're fantastic on drums. It's a classic snare microphone. Uh, people will cut vocals with them. So you got to have a, a short SM57. The next mic we're going to look at is the Sennheiser MD421, which is now in its Mark II version. And that microphone's also been around uh, for quite a few decades and is also a very classic mic on electric guitar cabinets as well as uh, toms. And uh, a lot of bands used to use them live as vocal mics uh, in the 70s. We're going to move next into the 1990s with the Audix i5 which was one of the first dynamics to come along that's, uh, it, it used to have the name the, uh, the, the Shure SM57 killer, and yet they have a completely different sound, and so they complement each other well. Uh, then we're going to move into a pair of mics that are newer to the market. The, uh, both, by, both of them are by Telefunken Electroacoustic. The first is the uh, M80, which was their first dynamic microphone that the company ever released. And that microphone has a little bit of an extended top end range to compete a little bit more with condenser mics. And then there's the M81, its sister mic, which is voiced uh, a little bit more traditionally. What we're going to do is we're going to set up all five of these mics on a uh, 212. It is a closed back 212 uh, Fender Tone Master custom shop cabinet. We're going to record all the mics at once uh, with uh, Mike playing three different styles of guitar. Mm -hmm. And we're also going to use three different amplifiers. Uh, what are those? Yeah, we'll start with a, uh, a Fender Deluxe Reverb, which is, I think, a 22 watt amp. Um, then we'll try the Marshall Classic Marshall uh, JCM800, which is um, you know a well-known classic hard rock amp. Last but not least, we'll try the Vox AC4, a little four-watt uh, studio combo. And, and I think Mike's going to stick to his Les Paul, but maybe for the twangy stuff. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll try. You know, we'll try Strat. We'll try the Les Paul, and then maybe uh, for the Vox part, I think we'll try a Gretsch Tennessee Rose. And um, all three really good guitars, and uh, these are good amps too. So good exemplars. Awesome. One last thing I want to mention, um, just for this test to kind of compare apples to apples, we're going to put all of them head on. We're not going to get too tricky, uh, just to give you a rough idea of the differences between all of these mics. And also mm -hmm. know that none of them are really a, a good, better, best. It's just different flavors, like different crayons in a, in a crayon box. Mm -hmm. So let's check it out.
I hope you enjoyed our little dynamic mic roundup and comparison. I want to thank Mike for taking the time to jam out for us and uh, let us use his uh, wonderful studio here. If you're uh, interested in anything having to do with guitar recording, check out this month's issue of Recording Magazine, which is on stands now. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page if you enjoyed this video, and uh, stop by our website, recordingmag.com, for all things recording. We'll see you soon.